Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux in VMware Workstation Pro 16 on a Windows 10 PC. It's a pretty quick setup and I'll provide everything you need as well as walk you through it all step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at the system requirements that you're going to need to get this installed. So this installation is going to be done on a Windows 10 PC. So I have Windows 10 and I've installed VMware Workstation 16 Pro. You can use previous versions of Workstation Pro, like version 15, and the process will be fairly similar. If you haven't already installed Workstation Pro and you're looking to do that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. Next, you'll need a CPU with four cores or more available. For RAM, four gigs is the minimum, but you're probably gonna to wanna to do eight. And for disk space, the minimum is 20 gigs. Now 20 gigs actually is fine, unless you're gonna be installing a lot of applications. And in that case, you're gonna to wanna to increase it a bit. For files, the only thing you're gonna need is to download the virtual image file directly from the Kali Linux website. I'm gonna be downloading the 64-bit version, but if a 32-bit version suits you better, you can go ahead and do that. Everything we're doing will be linked in the description below, as well as a link to my homepage that'll walk you through all the steps step-by-step step if you prefer a blog format. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my best to grow this channel as big as I possibly can. To begin the installation, you wanna make sure that you already have VMware Workstation installed on your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Now, if you haven't already installed VMware Workstation, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps to get it up and running. So we have it opened up and I'm just gonna minimize it just for now. And I'm gonna head over to the Kali Linux website. I'm at the virtual machine section of the website. I'll paste this link in the description below so you can automatically download it. And right over here, uh, we have the options of a 64-bit and a 32-bit. So we're gonna be doing the 64-bit. Uh, this is a pre-configured file that we're downloading. It's a VMX file, and it's specifically designed for VMware and those type of installations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download link, and it's gonna download onto my computer. And what we'll do is I'll just jump to the end of this download. Okay, so the download's complete, and you can see that over here. So I'm just gonna minimize my browser, and I'll open up my file explorer, head over to my downloads folder, and here it is. So it's zipped right now. It's 7-Zip is gonna probably be the easiest way to extract this. So I already have 7-Zip installed. I'm gonna right click on it, go over here and say extract files here, and it's gonna go ahead and decompress and put everything in a folder in the downloads section for me. Okay, so everything has been extracted and we have a folder here with all the contents in it. And you can see it all here, including the VMX file that we'll be using shortly. So the total size of this folder, so you're aware of how big it is, is the download is about 2.7 gigs. And when you have everything extracted, it's gonna balloon out to 10 gigs in size. So just so you're aware of how much space this is actually taking. So now that we have this downloaded and extracted, I'm just gonna minimize the folder. And now I'm gonna switch over to my Workstation Pro. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be selecting the option that's called open a virtual machine. So we're gonna click on that. And now we're gonna go into our downloads folder and here is the VMX file that we're gonna use. We're gonna select it and click on open. Now it'll just take a moment here and there we go. So it's loaded up and now we're ready to power up this virtual machine. So we'll click on this green icon right up here and it will start loading up the VMware. So it comes up to a login screen. The default username and password for this is gonna be Kali Kali. So I'll type in the default username is gonna be Kali and the default password is gonna be Kali as well. It's definitely highly recommended that once you load this up, uh, you go ahead and change your password. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna open up my terminal right over here. So we're gonna just change the password here and I'll just type in sudo su enter. It's gonna ask for the password, which is Kali as well. Hit enter. And we're gonna be changing the root password. So it's password space root. Hit enter. And now you're gonna type in the password of your choosing. Go ahead and type it in again. There you go. So password successfully updated. And now we have Kali Linux running in VMware Workstation Pro version 16. We're up and running. You can start using the operating system however you choose. All the tools and everything that you need is preloaded in here. You can go ahead and also install other applications that you might need as well. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. 
And if you're looking for any files or anything related to doing this installation, I'm going to put a link to my blog in the description as well. So you can get everything that you need right there. If you have any questions, you can also go to our forum, which is forum.geekwire.com and post any questions there. The community is great and a lot of people are eager to help. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for installations of other operating systems on VMware or VirtualBox or Hyper-V or anything virtual, we're doing it all here on GeekWire Guides. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.